Um, I want to talk about the societal aspects of why our society is not going towards the education system that we want in the first place. So the contention I'd like to make today is that in our society today, we know that our education is theoretically correct, but the problem is we're afraid to change it. So what do I mean by this? I want to, I want to come up with, uh, I want to talk about the speech we, uh, we heard before from Professor Winston Nagin, who, who gave us an inspiring speech about how we should be the actors in changing the education system in the first place. And he told us about how he also played an active role in changing the fastest education system that he had to go through. The education system that stopped them from having the correct education that they should have gotten. And he told us to be an active, play an active role. That, that was possible in my opinion because in that time it was theoretically wrong and it was also societally wrong. The atmosphere felt that they needed a change so they favored the active role from students. But today we live in a different world. We, we know that it's theoretically correct. We know that democracy is good in our society. We know that we have free education. We have the right to go for education. But the problem is, inside that, we know that there's uh, disparities, things that we don't want inside polarity. But we just want to shy away from those kinds of things because we know it's theoretically correct. And we don't want to fight it because it's going to cause chaos. And the problem is that, exactly. We think that we need to change that system by making more uh, progressive steps towards education in the first place. So the things I would like to uh, talk about is um, what is the problem, definitely. So in South Korea, I want to talk about how um, things are really going in the wrong way. Because in South Korea, we have two ways to enter a university, basically. Uh, you, you, you are holistically evaluated with your portfolio of three years of high school, or you can take the KSAT, which is an education exam that you take after 12 years of education. You take it like the final step to enter a university. Other than that, you're, called, you're, you're thought as defecting the system. If you feel like you don't want to go university that way, if you want to do other things, you're just considered as a defector from the whole system as a whole. And that thing, the, the, the irony here is that if you defect from the system and if you succeed, people tell you that you were creative. But if you defect from the system and if you're not successful, People tell you that you should have followed the system, not defect in the system. That's what causes fear inside us. It incurs that fear that we don't want to actually defect in the system at all. Even if you want to do art, even if you want to do drama, we should just go for the system, go for a study, go for academics, even if we don't really feel an interest in it. We see that that's the problem here. We know the problem inside, but we know that also that theoretically is correct. We've been fighting for this. And we don't want to cause chaos by telling them that it's actually wrong. But it's actually wrong in the reality, so there needs to be a change. Um, also, the other point is that we're given answers. We're not told how to find answers. We're given answers. And we're given an answer to how to ent enter university. We're given a path to follow, especially in South Korea, I think. And that is the problem, because we're not allowed to defect. But the problem is, we shouldn't be given the idea that defecting from the system is a wrong thing to do. We should be fostered the idea that we can have the creativity. But we're given the wrong idea of creativity, which in turn makes us feel that going for creativity is a wrong thing to do. So these kinds of things are the main problems of society. So to wrap up my speech, I want to talk about how it's not just about the education system, not the content, not the way we teach, not the things. It's about how we assess them. We, the, how we assess them limits a lot of things we can be doing. Even if we have good mentors, good ways to teach our students, the reason why we have problems is because we're assessed in a hierarchical way. We're lined up every time we assess, we take tests. And that makes us feel that even if we have a good education, we feel that we can't follow the system. We can't follow the creative system because anyways, I have to memorize the textbook in order to be better at the person next to me. That's those kinds of excessive competitiveness and also Excessive hierarchy in education is incurring those kinds of problems. What we have to do is not only change the educational system, but also come up with how we're going to change the whole paradigm for society, change the societal aspect of education, how we're going to make a more open society and more open creativity for our students. Thank you very much.